I'm here with the master of entrepreneurship, <laughs> Anthony Hall. Um, we're going to talk about networking strategies, uh, maximizing your your networking abilities, making sure that you're making the most of your time, and really finding strategies to go out and meet your ideal client. Uh, so. Anthony, thank yes. you for being a part of this. Anthony's normally behind the camera. He yes. uh, gets to handle some of the editing, some of the management of the podcast. My, yes. I do everything from the behind the scenes for Monday Minutes. I like being behind the scenes. Right. But this morning we got him in front of the camera. <laughs> so uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk to Anthony about was... Because <laughs> you read it. <laughs> um, Anthony, you own several and manage several businesses um, so as a small business owner as an entrepreneur what do you feel is the best use of your networking resources how do you go out and find your clients so um, kind of the way how I kind of do it is um, so it's more along the lines of like hunting um, so pretty much what I do is I try to analyze um, who I'm trying to go after so usually every time I go to an event I try to pick out a couple of people um, that I'm interested in either trying to do business with or, or establish a relationship with. Um, usually I try to go off of the guest list when I look through the events. Um, and then after I kind of go through that list, then I kind of set up like almost like a, it's almost like hunting. So mm -hmm. pretty much I try to make it my business to meet those, those particular people. So it sounds like you do your research ahead of time. Yeah. Which yeah. is, it's definitely important when you go in there and you know, oh, I'm going to this event. It's not just going there to have a couple of drinks, have some yeah, fun. You're yeah. actually going there with a purpose, with a stated yeah. goal. So when, when you go to events, do you set a goal ahead of time on this, how many contacts I want to make? Yeah, so, yeah, and, and I, I'm glad you said that. So the key thing about that is, is like you said, it's, it's networking. So a lot of people, when they go to networking events, they kind of get lost in the moment and, you know, they drink in and, which is don't find, don't, don't, you know, don't knock it. You can definitely have a good time. But, you know, the whole goal is to, especially in our business, what we do as loan officers, um, the whole goal is to make sure that you walk away with something, some way that you can establish business. So, yeah, usually <clears throat> I set my goal high. So I've been doing this for quite some time now. So you're looking at maybe six. I usually try to go after six either realtors, um, and I'm a little bit more diverse, so I've started to learn not just to go after realtors, so I'll go after, you know, someone from a title company, right? Um, and I'm a little bit eccentric too, so I'll, you know, I'll go after a nail owner, I mean a nail salon owner, a barbershop owner, um, people that I know that not they're not necessarily in the mortgage industry, but they touch a lot of people. So it kind of allows me to expand my touch a little bit better by working with them. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah. And because really as as a loan officer, while an agent may be a great referral source, they may send you a lot of business, mm -hmm. but anyone can get a mortgage. So you're not just although you're going there to get that referral business, you're still looking for hitting those clients who might just be looking for a mortgage or refinance, yeah. whatever yeah. that case may be. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like and I apologize we may have a little bit of lag on here. I'm getting a message that we have a low network connection. <laughs> uh, that's more work for me in the back end. So, um, <laughs> but I imagine this will pop back up shortly. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that I think was um, important is that, that you have a strategy when you go into it, that you're doing your research ahead of time, that you're making the most of the time yeah. where you are actually <laughs> at the event. And then if there's one thing that I've learned is hugely important in the end, it's follow up yes is that you're yes. you're hitting up that contact the very next day whether it's a phone call an email a text something where you let them know that it was an impactful meeting yeah, yeah. yeah we do that so that's where you take the time out to use technology so um, you know I, I use a lot of the, the I use MailChimp I use um, a lot of different technology to be able to automatically be able to respond or reply back or send a follow-up almost instantaneously so as I leave that area as I as I, sometimes as I'm walking out of the realtor's office or the event I've already loaded the email in there and it's firing off as I'm driving home so you know and a lot of people are shocked they're like oh wow like you know he's literally responding literally right after the event mm -hmm. you know what I mean so they appreciate that and um you know it, the other thing I think we do and we we specialize in it we and <clears throat> so I'll tell you guys so our 
thing. So this is the fox, and then I'm the hound. So that's usually, and there's a PNC pack. So that's what we're called. Um, we're missing one, but we have the PNC pack. But usually we hunt as a as a team. So usually we kind of go in there. We try to go to events together. And when we go to the events together, it does allow us to be able to move around the crowd to hit our targets. So sometimes you might get stuck with somebody who talks. So you, you I mean, we, you know that. Yeah, happens. yeah. So what ends up happening is, um, you know, you learn to use signals. So I'll look at Justin, and Justin will get that signal that says, in a nutshell, like help me, <laughs> so I can move to the next person. But um, but yeah, I mean that's, you know, that's the goal is to make sure you have a goal. Make sure it's. it's purposeful follow up that's the key thing man a lot of people just appreciate you taking the time to follow up mm -hmm. and I know that's that's hugely important I, I keep seeing this it pops up on my news feed from a lot of different sources but talking about how you know such a small percentage of sales are, are closed on the first second or third contact that it's oftentimes it's that fifth sixth seventh twelfth contact where you're actually going to get that sale and actually close that deal and actually be able to move forward so that's that's important. It's huge to follow up, yeah. and um, as you go out and as you start meeting with your potential clientele, the individuals that you want to do business with, you want to know more about them. You want to put yourself in events and networking circles where your ideal clientele is going to be. So if you want to go for <coughs> the self-employed individual, that entrepreneur, you need to be able to follow up you need yeah. to be able to know about that you need to research what it's like to own a small business mm -hmm. Anthony owns a small business I owned a small business for several years my wife handles it now but <laughs> it was it taught me a lot about being a self-employed individual and the chaos that goes with that but the freedom that comes with it you'll never work harder in your life than you do as a self-employed individual sure. I mean that is it is so true but sure. definitely research that so i I subscribe to Entrepreneur Magazine, I subscribe to Money, to um, Time Magazine. I try to stay involved and do reading and, and really mirror my efforts and my activities like the clientele that I want to reach out to. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about some of the things that you do to stay in touch, to make sure that, that you're a relatable source when you go and meet. So um, the things that we do now is, is um we were having this conversation the other day with another client is is to focus on a client's passion so I mean everybody has social media everybody kind of tells their own story on social media so the best part about social media is actually as you're kind of if, if you're already on social media anyway you know doing I don't know playing I play spades and Jen Romeo on the phone but um, there's those moments where you can actually take the time out to do a little bit of, of investigation and you can actually find out what someone is passionate about somebody might be passionate about animals so then your goal is to the trick to networking is or to follow up is is to go after their passion <clears throat> they're passionate about animals okay cool either if you're a loan officer or somebody that has the ability to create an event create an event that's geared towards animals what's going to end up happening is that person's going to come to the event because it's geared towards what they're passionate about whether it's animals, homelessness, children, safety, women, you know, so many different things that people are passionate about. Um, the other thing is to, to stay in touch is I'm constantly either hosting a business mixer. Um, I do the business mixers at least once a month. I do the, now we just started doing the mortgage mixers. That's going to be once a, once a quarter, once I believe. Quarter, yeah. um, and then if I'm not doing, you know, a credit and nails event, uh, uh, well, now that we changed the name, so it's Barbershop Talk is that one event, and then Nail Salon Talk is the other event. But you just have to constantly, it, the key word in that is consistency. You have to stay consistent throughout the entire process. If you're going to host an event, you're going to do it monthly, do it every single month. If you're going to follow up with them every two weeks, schedule yourself to do it every two weeks and don't don't you know don't get me wrong I mean we do have a life things happen you know I understand that but it's really honestly it's just make sure you have some type of routine to be able to stay in contact with that person and keep hitting that passion point keep hitting it keep hitting it keep hitting it. you may not necessarily have to do an event every month for animals but at least doing a you know if you have four events a month or five events a month one of the two of those events need to be there, especially if that's your target person that you want to mm -hmm. reach, you know, so. And I know one of the great things about Facebook that you'll see is that 
if someone is interested in an event or if they're like, oh, this sounds interesting, it'll pop up on their news feed. So if, you're, if you've got a relationship that you're trying to work towards, that you're trying to build that relationship, you can see which events they're going to and that might be a great opportunity to follow up with them, run into them again. Um, it's really all we about... We call it Facebook stalking. It's, it's Facebook stalking. <laughs> but but um, it's, Facebook, it's Facebook stalking with a purpose, though. Exactly. You're, purpose, you're not yeah. just going on there to look at their pictures. You're actually now, going let, in there. Let me, no, let me just explain oh. it. Let me, okay. So when you, when you see that they're interested, so and you know that's your target person, don't go up to them and say, because I have this habit to me, <laughs> say, hey, I saw that you were interested in here. This is the reason why I'm here. That's kind of a little creepy. That's a little creepy. Yeah, that's a little creepy. But, you know, you know, if, okay, so, and there's going to be so many different events here in Jacksonville, like, for example, and then I guess the other thing is we got to look at it from the other side, too. Don't go to a huge event, like, to try to hunt or to try to, you know, find your target at the Jacksonville Jazz Fest. It's just too many people, and it's it's too crowded for you to be able to do that and also make sure you respect their time because they might be with their family you know and you know spending time and especially if they're in the industry that we're in industry we only get a little bit of time with our families exactly. anyway so you have to be conscious of that so try, try to make sure you gear it towards something that is a business event not if you if you if you're going to do it at a family event just make sure you're courteous to understand that they, they are with their family exactly you know? like you know i my wife is at costco just about every other day and they know her by name. So when I happened to go with her one day and she was checking out, and they're like, oh, hello again, Mrs. Fox. And I was like, okay, my wife spends too much time here. But I was there with her, and I ran to an agent that I've been working with. He was with his family. So you know, we said, hey, how are you doing? This is my family. Nice to meet you. And it just went on. But it was something where I was able to follow up a couple of days later and just said, hey, it was so great running into you at Costco. I hope everything's going well. Hey, let's meet up again and actually talk business. Yeah. So it's an opportunity to, if you see them out with the family, great. Just say, hey, introduce yourself, get to know the family, but then let them enjoy their time. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's, that, it's the respect. They, so some people, will res- I will respect you a lot more if we, you know what I mean, if, you, if you're conscious of, you know, work and business hours, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a positivity. But the, the, another point to that, every interaction that you have, is a possibility for you to be able to establish a lead or generate business from. And if you think like that on a regular basis, then you will be able to be a little bit, I don't want to say hungrier, but you will be able to see the opportunities a little bit better. Is that, is that a better way to say yeah, it? If yeah, you're, if you're going into the, not desperate, but hungry. Yeah. Because there's a difference between desperation and hunger. Yeah. You can, you can be a top producer and still be hungry, or you can be desperate, and desperation shows. I mean, <laughs> yes. you, you can, you can, you know the individuals yeah. that have that desperation on them, and um, it doesn't take much. You know, a concerted effort is is a huge step to actually be intentional in what you're doing, and that's that's huge. And um, not wasting your time, not spraying and, and praying and going to yeah. a thousand events, uh, just thinking. If I hit all these, I'm going to get something out of it. Yeah. Be intentional in what you're going to. If you want to focus on a certain side of town, if if you love the beaches, find beaches events that make sense to you. Yeah. If you like the historic areas, find events in historic areas that make sense for you. You know, I, I lived in the historic area for a decade, so it, it means a lot to me. I try to spend a lot of my time in historic areas. Mm. Um, I love to go to the to the breweries that are there, and there's always events that are there, and there's always um, great opportunities to do that. So um, I think we're, we're just about done here. Anthony, did you have any events coming up that you wanted to mention? Yeah, that's what I was pulling out my laptop, <laughs> my phone, because I was like, oh, I know you were going to ask me about events. So, um, yeah, so we've launched, um, so we've launched an actual um, network. So I've been working behind the scenes and actually created my own network. Um, actually, me and um, Crystal, you remember, you met Crystal. Right. So we've created our own network where we're actually hosting different podcasts and, and housing them on our on our network. So we've been doing that. That has been generating a lot of business. Um, it's giving the city a lot of opportunity to be able to get their voice out, talk about what they want to talk about. As long as it's nothing too crazy, right. you know, we'll definitely do that. So we have the listings now that are showing up on Emerging Blacks page and both on your page and um, my page as far as our business professional page for PNC. Um, we also have, let me see, we got a lot. Of, we got the Rent versus Buy seminar. That's June 16th. 
June 16th. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking that one's going to be at the PNC building, but we might actually do that one at the uh, 5,000. Uh, town center um, apartment complex, okay, which is right there, right across the street from Nordstrom's. Yes. Okay. Um, that's going to be a great event. It's going to be <clears throat> some information about understanding, you know, the difference between rent versus buy. Both me and Justin are hosting that one. Um, you know, we're going to break down, kind of help people. The whole goal is to kind of tackle the apartment building and tackle each apartment building in the city. You know what I mean? Just go from one after another after another, as long as you know the, the property manager lets us in there because we're we're knocking on the door, so we're coming in. Um, we have that that's coming up. We also have um, both the um, the mixer is uh, at the end of the month. That's every the last Thursday of every month. That's our business mixer with Emerging Black. Um, we're doing the new mixer now, which is the, uh, the ooh, forgive me. It's a long. Is that the one with the long name? Which one? The uh, <clears throat> the mortgage mixer with Siva Realty. It is. Hold on, I'll find it. So that one is the home home buyers tour home buyers at tour. Moxie. Home buyers. That's yeah. not that bad. Yeah, not that bad. Well, it was a long one. So um, Satira is uh, the uh, the person that's been helping me at Seaver Realty, and so <laughs> it was a long night. So we had to shorten it down. But that one um, is on the 18th of June. That's a good one as well. That one's called, almost like a speed dating type of event. Okay. So it's um, going to have your mortgages, your loan officers, your realtors, your home inspectors, your um, title agents. And it's almost like a speed dating type of event. So pretty much you're going to have some time to be able to sit down and talk to these each individual people because there's a lot more, there's a lot more just than... The loan process and the realtor process. Oh, yeah. There's the, you know, the insurance piece. I think you had um, Jeff Stone came from Bright Brightway on yeah. here. Um, there's so many different pieces of the home buying experience that a lot of people just focus on these two. So that's going to be a good event. Um, we also have the barbershop, the credit and nails, or the What's it called now? <laughs> it's called the barbershop nail, talk. Barbershop talk, where we're going into the barbershops and we're sitting down with credit specialists a financial advisor, um, a mortgage specialist, and a realtor specialist. And we're really taking the time out to educate. This is a year, I, th I think you've heard it on almost every show that I've either helped produce, it's a year of education. Year of education. So um, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to educate on a regular basis. So each of these events are geared towards either the home buying experience, starting your own, your own business, pretty much the, the main two basic American dreams. Look, Rachel, look at Rachel. Yeah, I, I see her. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, Rachel. I am drinking your. What is this? It's tea, cha, chai, chai tea, chai tea latte, latte with, with almond, almond milk. milk. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> and we're gonna have some more events that are gonna continue to come up. I think this is the longest Monday minutes we've done yet. We might call this Monday hour. Ooh. Well, it's, uh, it's only been twenty well, you, you minutes. To, no, it's eighteen minutes right oh. here. So we need to get going soon. So <laughs> there are a lot of events that are coming up. The ones that Anthony mentioned, as well as we're going to have some really great events that are coming out soon. They're just in the the design stage right now, which I need to talk with you about. Um, but definitely, if if you want to be a part of Monday Minutes, if you want to get involved with some of these events, you can reach out to Anthony. You can reach out to me. You can give us a call, send us an email, shoot us a text, drive Smoke by signal. the office. Smoke signal. We've been Practicing We've been practicing. We're going to get yeah. that down. Um, but otherwise, we hope you all have a great Monday. Um, thanks for being here. And I was forced. Yeah, he was. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll see you all next Monday. Bye-bye.